Hello, Leo. This is your reading. Leo. Okay, I'm just going to clear the energy. Okay, so you have the page of water. Page of cups. Feels like when somebody goes to speak to you or they have like people have things that they want to say to you. Almost like they have like a text written out in their phone, but then they delete it. And they don't do it in their mind they practice what they're gonna say to you but then when they get in the moment and they are before you they don't do it see how she's just pouring out this water and just kind of standing there very frozen and stoic looking I feel like two of water love wow. somebody wants to express their love for you already this feels so intense like a love reading Somebody wants to express how they feel about you, but they are frozen when you are around. Hermit. You make them feel things that they haven't felt before in a long time, in a way that they haven't felt before. Um, you make them reflect back on themselves and think things different you make them want to be a different version of themselves and not in a way of forcing or changing the person or who they are you know or hiding who they are to impress you no it's not like that it's kind of like you just open a new way of thinking and expressing things that is very intriguing and endearing and alluring and it opens up things in them that they didn't know they had. Feels like they could have been distant and blocked you off. Eight of fire is the eight of wands. Spirit is going to push them to communicate. Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords. They are in their head about what feels like an opportunity missed. They feel like they missed the boat. They missed the opportunity. But I feel like spirit is going to make it so unbearable for them to stay in this hermit. Like, look, me, do I have something to say? No. They're like, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> you know, they're not talking. But it feels like spirit is going to make this so uncomfortable with this eight of wands. Eight of The eight of wands is the only card in the deck that has no humans on it at all. So this is spirit bringing in this inspired action. And for, for most... I, well, it spirit will make things so uncomfortable. So eventually, if this person doesn't speak out, they're going to be so uncomfortable. They're probably going to have a tower. You have the three of water fullness. It's like wanting a celebration with you, wanting a commitment with you. You have the Emperor and the um, Hierophant here. So this is, and that's, oh, and isn't that interesting? Yeah, because the Hierophant card in the deck. Oh, wow. 
The Hierophant card in the deck, which is in this deck, it's the Shaman, okay? This is the card of, okay, so first you're going within with the Hermit. You want to, you feel like um, seeking a seclusion here. You want to be off by yourself for, you know, people, if they're not necessarily spiritual, they don't know why. They're just like, oh, I need to be alone. I don't know why. You know, you're a little more spiritual, you know. You are picking up on, okay, I'm like, spirit is pulling me into hermit mode because there's something I need to see. I need to do some introspection, right? This person, they could just be spending time, you know, by themselves. And I feel like they're open to spirituality, but not maybe necessarily the most spiritual person. I don't think they're sitting here saying to themselves, oh, wait, I need to get some introspection. I need to go into hermit mode here. I think they're just like staying at home, ordering food and staring at netflix and staring at the wall you know they don't know what's going well what the reason is but this is where you know you have the eight of wands coming in and spirit is pushing pushing them and what they're you know choosing to watch is activating certain things is having them process certain things is having them feel certain emotions is causing them to say okay maybe i can let this go you know and it can be subconsciously done it doesn't always have to be like I'm letting go of this right now, you know? So it feels more like that, which I feel like might be why it's taking longer because, you know, it's not something they realize that they're doing. But, you know, this is the seeker of answers, the hermit. The hermit goes away from everything so it's easier to go within, right? To be alone in nature. It's very easy for you to connect on the inside, right? And and then spirit is coming down with the message with the eight of wands. And the hierophant receives the message, but puts it into practice in this 3D reality. So look at the steps that they're doing. Could be a Taurus. Could be a could be a um a Aries, a Virgo, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Don't hold too tightly to the signs. Seven of Fire. They're willing to fight for this. Once they put their mind to something, they're going to do it. And it feels like once they decide they want to be, I don't think it's that they don't want to be with you or take the next step. You know, this could be somebody who is, you know, they're, you're already together and they're not telling you everything about how they feel. They're not opening up all the way or you're wanting a more of a commitment it to go the next level up because the Hierophant means that too. And so does the Emperor here. Right? The Hierophant talks about, you know, he has the three tiers in his um, crown. And it's like, once you go, you know, you're going from one, from the next, from the next. So it's like, talks about meeting a level and then going. And the Seven of Wands can talk about that, meeting a, at a level, leveling up to something. And now striving for more. You know what I mean? So it's like... That's here. This person could be opening up to you and you're already. You have the sun. The king of cups this could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio you know they whoever this is they are a romantic you also have the um knight of pentacles so they're fighting they're fighting they're fighting okay and then it's kind of like this sun comes out is this sun you And they're wanting to come through and be romantic. And, you know, it feels like they have balanced their inner emotions here. You have victory, six of swords. 
Six of Wands, sorry. Victory here. Mother of Earth, look at this. They want to build something with you. Balance. I feel like this person is absolutely terrified. You know, this Three of Wands keeps wanting to come out. Keeps wanting to come out. And it says integrity. Six of Air, Clarity. Wow, we got the High Priestess here. You know, you know what you want. I feel like you want this. You want this to happen. You want this to come in. And you don't think it's going to come in. Look at this doubt. Three of Swords is doubt. And you have the Queen of Swords here. So you're, you're, you're ready to assess. I feel like you're not going to believe it. You're not going to trust it at first. You're going to want to like, okay. Okay. It's like, it feels like you're, you're just not expecting it. Growth. Look at this. Spirit is wanting to let you know at this time. Look at this spirit guide card. What a freaking beautiful card this is. Something is growing life to it. Something is growing life to it that has been a prayer of yours for quite, quite, quite some time. And it just never came to be. But I feel like it never came to be because you had some lessons that you needed to learn. And now you're starting out all over again here on this journey. And that's not a bad thing. The universe is still going to bless you and all those blessings in the past that didn't end up working out, they're going to come in. The Six of Cups can be a gift from the universe and it's usually unexpected. And it also usually has to do with a situation from our past, meaning a person that it didn't work out with or and or something that you tried to do before that did not work. It's like this energy kind of feels like you have Ten of Pentacles on the bottom, by the way. Wealth. So, if, you know, if you happen to have some financial worries, you're good. You have the Ace of Cups here. So this is something about caring a lot about what you're doing. So this offer comes in after you're going to start something new with a career, with your job, with work, the passion that you have, with a way for you to make money, a side hustle. It doesn't have to be like a main thing. But it feels like you have to get to a certain point of progression with that. And that is why this feels like it's been on delay. On delay, on delay, on delay. And it feels like so on delay to the point where you're not even going to believe that it's happening when it comes in. You're going to be like, I don't know about this. <laughs> like, what the heck? But it's what you want. It's exactly what you want. of water abundance the cards hold slightly different meanings in this deck and this one is clearly you know positive the typical four of cups card three of the cups are spilled over and one is being given like through the clouds kind of through spirit you know and this person they don't see it they see the disappointment so this is not the typical thing they see the abundance so if people from your past have not seen you, the real you, the abundance that you bring, the person that you really are, this person sees that. They know that you're rare. They know that you're their person. And this is what scares them, almost to the point of terror, because they want this big, big, big time. It's interesting that you have the full moon here. We just had a full moon the other day. Uh, also, it could be a Cancer and a Pi or a Pisces. Daughter of Fire and the Small Medicine Wheel. This is the Page of Wands. 
and the world card. You want to end the journey. <laughs> you want to end the journey completion, it says here. You want to end the journey of trying to find somebody. You're like, okay, I get it. I'm, I'm on this journey and I'm loving life. Yeah, I know. I've been here. I'm doing it. I did the work. Forgive somebody, I forgave them. You know, taking new opportunities, I'm taking them. Want to go in towards new love, I'm here. Pray, ask for spirit to help you. That's the only way that you, you know, can receive help because it's a free will based universe. Done that, did that, done that, bam. Then you have this collaboration. Then you have this growth. Then you finally start to see this offer come in, page of pentacles here. But you're, you don't think, you don't think it's coming in. You don't think it's coming in. And there is a part of you, it's like you're split. It's like reminding me of when, of somebody who has, you know, perhaps an intoxicated mind and then a sober mind. <laughs> and you kind of, you kind of got that going on. Like, there's no way this is happening. No way. I have given up. It feels like you, you have given up hope of this. It's like, it's not... I don't care. And that's kind of how you're showing up too. You're showing up as kind of like, eh, this could happen, this could not happen. Whatever. Like not showing it. Not showing how much it's killing you. But it is. But there's a part of you, that other mind here, that believes. That believes that has this desire and knows with every fiber of your being that this is coming through. And that's the side that's gonna win. That's the wolf that you need to feed. Not this, not this one. Nope, nope, nope. This one. The believer. It's okay to believe it. And I feel like you had to stop telling people this. Look, you have the Ten of Cups. And big medicine wheel. This is like, you're going to be really happy with this new beginning. It's going to be an unexpected good new beginning. It's okay for you to trust in that. It's okay for you to believe in that. It's like spirit. Yeah, this is what I was going to say. Spirit wants you to know that you know you can't tell people about things that you're manifesting and what you're wanting to bring in here you know because you have this grandfather card as the emperor so it's like you know the emperor he can talk to his advisors but they're not the emperor you know they're advisors he can talk to other kings but they're not an emperor they're a king I conquered your kingdom and now it's a part of my empire so it's kind of like there's nobody else around that's the emperor it's just him so he has no one to talk to to relate to and that's kind of how it feels right now like you don't have someone that you can talk to that you can relate to that can relate back to you on what's going on and it feels like the same stuff, different day, same stuff, different day with this uh, eight of cups here. But you have this life force card. You have this ace of air. You have the three of cups again. And the knight of pentacles again. So, you know, you're, you're finding your way out of this. You're going to find your way to celebrate your joy and you're going to have this offer coming into you. It's not going to be as slow as you think with this King of Wands here. And then look, you have the Mother of Fire. Oh, wow. Okay. You have the Father of Fire, Two of Air, which is the Two of Swords. This is a block. I know. You're going to be like, why did I get excited? You'll see. And then you have the Mother of Fire. 
So what's in between them? This block. But then we have the two of earth change. There is a change coming from this block is not going to be existent anymore. Twos are about decisions. And a decision was made by both of you to protect yourself. But it's, it's just becoming too much to bear. It changes inevitable. It's coming. You know, because what was needed to be met within has been met. And so now there is security. So now when you're secure within yourself, now you can offer something to somebody else. Now that's a very different story here. And now we have the, the Queen of Cups and the Empress. Okay, the grandmother is our Empress. So finally, you, as this Emperor, as this King of Water, male or female, not King of Water, grandfather, male or female, you're attracting in your empress. This person was not in empress mode. They were not matching up to you. But this, there's a change. There's a change. It's coming. People tried to get in the way of this. People wanted, people I feel like got caught up in a drama or created a drama around you to try to make you look less desirable, it feels like. Uh, they could have been done this to this person as well. Feels like there's people in between the two of you that are trying to cause kind of like a soap opera of problems like if the two of you got together you know if this is a person that you don't know who this is yet you will know and it's like you will know of them somehow or they will know of you somehow you know and it could be like maybe you dated somebody one of their friends from high school. So all the friend group remembers you and they remember this and that and that rumor or something like that. You could actually know who they are. This could be somebody that, you know, you're in a connection with that you're wanting something more of, you know, wanting it to be official or something like that. And then there's some kind of chaos comes out because people are trying to get in the middle here. You have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, it's like they, they can't they can't touch you though. Just not like yeah, you care about what this person thinks and how the relationship will go, but you don't care about what other people think of you at all. At all. And other people don't really get that. It's kind of like not as much fun to go after you. And also it feels like whatever they try to sabotage you in, you end up doing better in. You know, it's like they try to do, like, look at this. They try to do something. Look at these cards. They try to do something like if you are not supposed to do, like, I, the only thing I can think of is like in school or something when somebody, you know, because it's very high school energy. Like somebody would, I keep thinking about high school. You may have known this person in high school. You knew them the time that you were in high school or they were in high school. You heard of each other. Maybe you'll find out that you were at the same high school and you didn't even know if it was a really large school or something like that. But it's like um, if you're doing a science experiment and the teacher's like, you're not supposed to mix these two chemicals and explode and they go to your workstation when you're like tying your shoe or something and they mix those two chemicals and then the teacher is like who did this and that person is like leo leo did it 
And they're like, well, actually, you did, you came up with a scientific discovery, you know? <laughs> the way that you, the amount that you blended, you know, this, I don't know, it ends up being a good thing. <laughs> but they were trying to get you in trouble in a way. So it's like creating some kind of drama to get you in trouble in a way, to make you appear with this vision quest card, to make you appear, to make this person see you in a negative light. They were trying to uh, like take over their um, vision of you and block this connection from moving forward any further. They wanted this person to like change their mind and be strict on that. They wanted to transform this. Yeah. And pull it back all onto them. This could have been a, could be a Pisces person doing this. Could be a Scorpio or a Capricorn. But you know, it's not gonna work. Ace of Earth, Ace of Water. This person wants somebody. They want a new connection. They want a new Knight of Swords integration look at this they want to come together with you and make this thing work look at this ten of earth wealth people that try to put you down when you're on this new journey um it just gets worse and worse for them and it just seems to get better and better for you it's just what it is People, somebody is like talking about you, talking about you, talking about you nonstop. They cannot stop talking about you. And it is actually, you know, making themselves look very, very, very guilty. Just like so guilty. And I feel like this person is guilty. They're guilty. And you know they're guilty. And you don't really care about it. You're over here like living your freaking life, connecting with nature, living in your joy, I mean, look at that. She is just in the middle of a waterfall swimming. How gorgeous is that? You know your ships are coming in. You know that you're going to be fine. And you love your life. It's like glowing happiness. That's what's coming for you. Three of Cups. Celebration here. And the King of Cups. It's a water. I feel like it's a water sign. Doesn't have to be. But that is a, you know, maybe if you, um, you may have thought that they were a water sign or you could see how they're acting like a water sign. You know what I mean? Um, because it's kind of like this one step forward, two steps back with this person. They don't really make a move, but it's because I feel like they have overwhelming emotions for you. So, you know, but this change coming and look at the star. Aquarius energy. Wow. Beautiful. Answer. Medicine man, Empress again, Hierophant card, Nine of Earth. It feels like you're established on your own, on your own. This person is very impressed by you. They're impressed. I feel like a lot of people are impressed by you and a lot of people are jealous of you. And you know this, you know this. And it feels like you're going to know who your friends are and who they are not if you don't already. You're going to know. You're going to know who you need to. It's like you're fighting for yourself now. You're not fighting for anybody else. And you don't feel bad for that. Other people want you to be like, you know, look at me. Look at me. I'm out here left out in the cold. And you're kind of like, well, you put yourself out there in the cold. You know, I don't want you to be out there, but you did it. And also like. I know you were talking about me. I feel like you're just going to have this sixth sense in your mind and you're thinking of something and it's true. You're thinking of this and it's true. This pops in your head, it's true. That pops in your head and you find out it's true. You're watching something on TV, whatever, and it's just like makes you think of this scenario or daydream of this. It's true. Like, you're going to be shocked at how right you are. But those things where you zone out and then you're like, whoa. What was that? Not when you're like actively thinking and worried and worried and worried and, you know, doubting and doubting. That's not what I'm talking about. You know, and that you're very active in it and you're stressed. You know, but you know, when you're just kind of like glazed over, you know, 
like if somebody were to see you, they'd be like, well, snap out of it. You know, that's, that's a different energy, but this person that feels like brings out another side of you as well. You know, you have the wheel of fortune here. You have the queen of water and the lovers. Wow. So much love here. So much love here. Very romantic energy. Very balanced too as she's holding the two cups, right? Keeping the, with the balance. There is an otter here on this card. Otters symbolize romance and someone who sees you for who you truly are. Someone who sees you as a soulmate. They see you as their soulmate. They see you as their one and only. They see you as this twin flame. They see you as somebody that you're they're wanting to you know, spend forever with. Look at this freaking emperor here. I mean, you're in alignment. You are balanced. You may feel a little bit shaky because I feel like something really great is being manifested in here and you don't really know what to make of it. Feels like spending time with children. If you can spend some time with children or be around children, that would help you. It will help you to laugh. It will help you to get out of your head. It will help you to stop thinking about things. Also, if you have like some sort of spiritual practice that you really love doing, I feel like you're going to feel called to do some sort of spiritual practice, but changing it up a little bit, like adding this or taking out that part or looking into how to do something like this you know yeah look at the spirit guide spirit wants to send you a message and they want you to change things up a little bit because um i feel like you're just it's it's just it's like nervousness that you're mistaking because you know when you have excited nerves but you don't know it's kind of like, let's say you're going to go skydiving. This is how it is. You're going to go skydiving, right? And before you go, you're really, really nervous. But you're excited, but you're really, really nervous. But you know you're going to go skydiving, so you know that's why you're nervous. Whatever. Well, let's say, you know, when you're going through, like, this spiritual manifestation stuff, sometimes when you're going to manifest something that's really, really big that would make you really, really excited, it also makes you feel really, really fearful because it's very, very intense. But you can't see that you're about to go spiritually skydiving, you know, whatever that would mean for you. So if you don't like skydiving, it's not doesn't it's not that or not even has to do with that. But just, you know, you're going to manifest a really exciting experience that you really want. But sometimes there can be so much energy that you feel nervous, but you can't see exactly what's coming. Right. Because this is something that you're manifesting. So. You don't know that. At least when you're going skydiving, you know why you're nervous. Do you know what I mean? But if you didn't know, you would be like, something is wrong with me. Something is wrong with me. Like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so, like, what's going on? You know, it feels like emotions everywhere and heightened and what's going on with this. And I feel like it's just like your vibration is raising and something big is, is coming in. It's a big change coming in and you can feel the change. And it's more of a change than what you have ever had before. And so that's why you feel it more. And that's why you freak out. But it's, it's not something that, yeah, it's like, look at these two cards. Feels like chaos, but it's this. It's something great coming in and you can't see it. So you're thinking, oh, this has got to be bad. Well, okay, great then. But uh, it's it's time. It's time for this to come in. And you know it's time. Okay. So I'm going to pull a charm. Okay. You have a rabbit. Oh have a little rabbit and the rabbit is like running. So a rabbit could be a sign for you, a bunny. Oh, it looks like an Easter. Oh, he is holding an Easter basket and he's holding an egg in his hand. So this is something that could have started. This is something that you could have wished for around Easter or something you thought was going to happen around Easter time and nothing 
came of it. And so something significant with that time of year, I feel like something that you had wished for and were trying to manifest, especially during that time, now it's coming in now. Uh, you also have football. So you may see a football places. You may see people wearing different like football jerseys. I know nothing about sports. So I have no idea if like football is a thing right now or no. <laughs> but maybe you'll see someone wearing a football jersey. Maybe this person is really into sports or football. But that is a sign sign coming in for you also they could be from like overseas right because the way just keep saying it's like wanting to say football football and i'm thinking about how they call it football over there but it's not football it's soccer or something like that i don't know but um there's something about that that could be a sign for you that spirit wants you to know okay well thank you leo and i hope we see you next time